You know, my day's turned out all right so far. Case closed on the cannibal killings. I mean, sure, I still share the world with people who for the last few years sat around eating their own semen because they are just that fucking demented. But shit, I can retire Barbie for a while. Right? What? Marv, don't be nuts. Bad shit happening in Genaris. Nah, man. Just put your feet up. Yeah, exactly. I'm having a good day. No one better fuck it up. I wonder what we've missed. Hmm? The island, I wonder what we've missed. Oh, Christ, don't even get me started. Probably fucking quite a bit. You son of a whore biscuit! You jinxed it! Mars Log. We are heading back to Zion and already I can just feel my ass cheeks cringing. You had to say it, didn't you, Frankie? I can't begin to imagine what the fuck's been going on without Uncle Marv, Frank, and Franz to babysit the little bastards. I can see it now. Jimmy's jerking off into Megan's garden lamb, so Franz is revoking their pumpkin privileges for this week. Just you watch. One of them will be missing a testicle or something. Mark my fucking words. But enough with the suspense. We swim across and get stopped halfway by this guy swimming back. And he's claiming he was kicked off the island unfairly. Something along the lines of uh, he sounded and looked exactly like someone who'd been banned. <laughs> he must have had an evil twin or something. Fuck me. But sure enough, me and Frank went back with him because why the fuck not, we're problem solvers. And we're followed behind quickly by Megan. The little lady didn't want us to get fed a lot of bullshit, I think. So what is this horrible fucking crime this guy is not guilty of? Now get this shit. Taking part in the kidnapping of Megan. With this Mickey Knox character. But this isn't the guy, right? Clearly! It's all a big misunderstanding. God forbid Megan could remember who had a gun in her face. She's only a woman. She can't be expected to recall such little details, right? This poor bastard. I'm telling you, my heart bleeds. I'm sure he'll just clear this up with us real good. And... Yeah, that face and voice are kind of like, funny enough, engraved on my memory. Can I explain that? Delivering death threat notes about me to my friends, you know, kind of sticks in your memory. May I explain to you why I called myself Sean? Yeah, go for it. When I labeled myself Alan. Sean, your other Watch says, I'm gonna get some well, you know, your name is Sean. Oh, I said did. my name was Sean out of a joke. Don't you remember? He said there can only be one Desmond on the island. You've lost me. I wasn't on the island. Oh, you're talking to her. Oh, 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 my bad. <laughs> uh. See, I ain't even gonna take that much to do with the questioning. Megan is a big girl. Despite the cute little exterior, inside, she's got the heart of a real bitch. I don't know why no one else can see this shit bar me. I mean, it's delightful to catch the little glimpses of it now and then. Yeah, he's just... I don't know. Talking shit. Hello. Can you, uh... I see those matches in your hand. Can you light these back up again? Dead. I'm sorry. Hey, what happened to you with, uh... It would make you believe this fella did something fucking horrible to you. For, uh, we were led to believe something along the lines of kidnapping and punching you and shit like that. Uh, 
How did uh, you not... Oh, no, it wasn't him that did the punching. You remember when I got taken hostage in the town down the road? Yeah, yeah, I and remember. And the doctor called Desmond to Yeah, yeah, and the doctor called Desmond delivered a note to that island. Uh huh. I did not deliver such note. Did you not? Nope. Uh, well, you know, obviously my memory must be wrong because that voice kind of got engraved on it. And yeah. obviously your face, oh, you used to have a green face mask, but you did, did, did they have a mask? Oh, you said well, it had a mask. You have a green I face got this two days ago. Uh-huh, of course. I don't believe the word that comes out your mouth. You're calm, Megan, beautiful. Well, I told him he's never had that bad to die of. I don't know what else I can do. Like, we checked his bag and everything, he doesn't have a red armband, so maybe he's seen sense and realized that that Mickey guy's just an idiot. Now, true enough, this Mickey Knox is a real crackpot. Let me explain a little about this Mickey Knox guy to you. Now I just love it when another intellectual genius just steps up to discover the secrets to the fucking universe for us. We're in the midst of a zombie apocalypse here and suddenly Fuck Knox here has been born with the secrets of the fucking universe. Lo and behold, our savior is born. And how does he do this? How does he get people to follow him? By sticking guns in their face, spreading propaganda through the Green Mountain radio station, and of course, killing just about everyone who disagrees with him. And there's people following him, some willing, some not so willing. And you know, I've spent a long time thinking about it, and I've come to the conclusion that abortion was invented for these people. Did he just wake up with these insane ideas one day, or did he eat a lot of paint strimmer as a baby? I mean, what the fuck? Did he not get enough cuddles growing up? Didn't he have any friends? There's starving people out there right now who would sell their kidney to eat their friends, okay? And our savior, Jesus Knox, is going to shove a shotgun down your gullet whilst asking you to join the Liberation Army of whatever the fuck it is. Because he's this magical fucking lo and behold, heavenly God is great motherfucker. But there are some that's been brought in by propaganda here. I shit you not. There's people who are following this willingly. D do you idiots believe everything you are told? You're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse for fuck's sake and you're out there spewing the hate gravy about imaginary communism and America the beautiful and uh, how do you even how did you get to this? Do you believe everything you're told? Let me guess, you're one of these people who took a reading one day and were told you are a generous, loving motherfucker. Sometimes you like to watch TV and on the occasion jerk off in front of it. And you thought, oh my god, it's me! You often eat spicy food, drink a lot of beer and spend your evening stuck in a toilet shitting like a racehorse. It's like magic! And if I could just piss acid here, there would be some fucked up water sports right now for some dumb sons of bitches. I want to make a fucking... Big banner, right? Saying the water sports massacre of stingy, screamy pain will now begin. Where do you get off trying to pass this shit here? It's like Carrollton trying to pass himself off as black. Well, I have a few points to share. I think I'll explain to y'all's asses, okay? Serve me, be loyal, fight this, and do that. Have you heard that shit? Probably more than you can count, right? This is propaganda. Now, let me explain propaganda to you. When you get something repeated to you over and over and over and, and there's nothing else out there debating otherwise, you may just end up believing it. This is a psychological fact. If you spend a few years being made to swear your nipples to the reproductive system of marine animals, you will eventually end up getting tit-fucked by a dolphin somewhere in SeaWorld, also known as brainwashing. 
The Chinese used it to bring in communism. Hitler used it to recruit soldiers, and this Mickey Knox fucker is using it in Green Mountain's radio station to get desperate people to give him all their shit, and act as cannon fodder against anyone trying to stop him. And then you go, well, I just won't listen anymore. I do not want Mr. Knox shoving his red, white, and blue slong zombification up my gas trap. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry, bub. If you do that, the zombification SWAT brigade will just pop out of a fucking hole in the ground and beat you senseless until you are singing God Praise Mickey Knox out of your asshole. If I wanted to listen to an asshole, I'd fart, okay? And if he wins, if this guy wins, I'm gonna take this big red button I have and blow the whole fucking world up because at that point, it'll be a lost fucking cause. But anyway... I got sidetracked. Well, where the fuck were we? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, this poor son of a bitch who didn't help kidnap Megan. Mm -hmm. The girl must be dreaming, yeah. Hashtag woman problems. See, I don't know what to make of this shit. We know Mickey Knox has been forcing people into this. So it's kind of hard to just, you know, comment on it. Besides, this is Megan's place. Therefore, it is her call. It's a respect issue. That's yeah, something at least. I mean, a lot of people had guns put in the faces, and were basically just fucking told this is what they were doing. We do have to keep that in mind, I suppose. Oh no, he didn't. No, he did it all voluntarily and uh -huh. shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Huh? You're a real badass, ain't you? Uh huh, anyway, they're gonna Yeah, because I'm watching over, you got a problem with that? So far, from what I understand, is that every single piece of evidence you have given me has been proven wrong. There's no way to actually prove that bit of evidence, aside from the fact that your mind is engraved with my voice or some weird thing like that. Okay, you proved that you're not him. I'm mad that I've been bad. So what is your okay, actual no, evidence that I was that some then. bad guy part of this scene that yeah. starred you? Well, I'm not stupid and you obviously are if you think that I'm gonna believe your lies. So you give me evidence that you're not that Dutchman. Uh, okay, first of all, didn't have a red armband, second of all, don't know Mickey Knox, and third of all, I called myself Desmond straight to the entire group, and then afterwards called myself Sean after I was told to be called Sean. Fourth off, I've actually been to Zion multiple occasions, never been harassed like this, I've just, you know, been hanging out. And fifth of all, eh, I guess there's no other evidence then. I guess I only have four people. Uh -huh, I already know you've been to Zion. Well, fortunately, I was in the... Okay, then that has been proven true. Hmm. I don't know why the fuck I'm making this. You're you working that hard to defend yourself. It's obvious that it's you. If if you uh, weren't yes, him, you'd be like, ah, oh, whatever, and just go. But the fact that you just try so hard to convince us that you're yeah, not him so. kind of proves that you are as well. I'm trying to because I don't want to stain on my reputation, and that's the only safe place I can go. So. Of course I wouldn't want to give up that safe place. Well, there aren't no, going to be any safe places for people that do stuff like you do. There aren't really any other safe places. You did say the only place you had left to you was Green Mountain, didn't you? Yeah, but that's a place of bandits and scum. I do not want to go to Green Mountain. But then how is that the only place left for you? Huh. Makes no goddamn sense. I guess so. So I assume I, I'm still banned? I mean, of course, it's probably true right now. I can always feel like you're being watched. Oh, uh-huh. I'm, I'm trying to get everybody to start using their binoculars over there. On the island, but, uh... Frankie isn't satisfied, though. Good instincts on the guy. I see him stopping this Desmond fellow. Man was a detective once, I believe, you know, so uh, we just leave him to it. He'll figure this shit out, just you watch. 
For now though, me and Megan just chill for a bit whilst Frankie does his business. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I wasn't sure, I was just waiting for your decision. I'm just kinda of following your lead at this point. I think I've done enough shit recently. <laughs> it is not worth the time or effort. Yeah, that's kinda of why I'm all restrained and shit. Little fish can wait till last. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Frank is done and we get called over. I wonder what revelation shit we're gonna get hit with here. It's not like he lied, right? That's not something to tell you, Megan. I don't, uh... I'm not exactly sure where you'd like to begin, but I suggest that the beginning from the moment you were first approached by Mickey. Okay. Yeah, okay. To start it off. I was uh, uh, looting the police station. I can't hear you, you need to speak up. Okay. First off, it started out me looting a police station in So, I was approached by two of Mickey's boys. They uh, told me to come up the hill with them. I told them no at first, and then they told me that uh, it would be a good idea to come up as they pointed guns at me. So, I came up the mountain. They proceeded to strip me of my weapons and my things. I was stripped down to just my underwear. Jeez. I was then brought away with two other guys, and I was situated on the farther up side of the hill. I saw that you were by Mickey. Mickey was talking to you. Upon then, I was receiving a lot of harassment from one of them, so I decided that uh, all of this was just bullshittery that happened. I tried to fight one of them that basically earned their trust because they thought that I was with them. After that, uh, they brought me down to where you were, to which I proceeded to just sit around you. You didn't really notice me, I'm assuming, since you thought I'm a doctor. Uh, afterwards, I was confronted by one of the guys. He told me that I was going to be his mule. I'm pretty sure you could remember that, right? Wait, wait! Which one he is? Do you remember in the house when you looked through the window and there was two people with a gun pointed to my head? Yeah. Yeah. I did not uh -huh. have a gun He's pointed to my head. He took our stuff. All right. So he was a Lindsay Lohan claiming the coke wasn't hers. Fucking lie. Okay. Y'all saw it coming. Yeah, that's did me. It? But I did not point a gun to your head. Yeah. I simply watched through the window. No. Oh uh, no, he put a gun to my head. You're thinking of the other guy that called me. Hey, um... Uh-uh. I had two guns to my head. If there's anyone, I could have got out of there. Okay, fine. I'll just go with what you say. Gotta be honest. I'm kinda fond of Megan. And here in this, I'm getting real testy here. While trying to restrain myself, you see, I'm the vengeful sort. You don't even want to get me started about that time I shit on a pigeon, okay? After that, you, when uh, uh, you were all taking prisoners yeah, and brought up the hill, you think you could just uh, do a circle around the that conversation here and take with strangers back. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe just give it a gun. Maybe just throw this on your back for the time being. Upon which, our team put a bullet through uh, that guy's head. Thinking I was yeah, next, I, I dugged behind a tree, ducked, not so much. to keep that in the end anyway. I ducked behind a tree, Ooh. turned oh. around it, and uh, killed Artyom. He killed Artyom. Artyom, the guy I used in that turning on Zion fabrication. Frank's friend, Artyom. One of us, Artyom. I never did get to apologize to him. And it's this fucker's fault. Oh shit. This must be the stop at the bitch slap express. I uh, killed Artyom. I shot him through the head with a Winchester. I you you mother it on, man. god damn bastard. Oh, yeah. Come here. Thanks. Take your helmet off, man. Is this, uh, is you son of a guy? bitch. 
Yeah. Being killed, you. You want me to hunt? Yeah. There you go. Alan, he bandaged. I got it, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure me. I can. I can't begin to go into enough detail about how fucked this guy is right now. His head must be ringing from that dumb fucking green bale I knocked off his head. But that's as far as I go. No more violence from me, it's not my place. Audion was Frank's good friend. This is his business, this is his right. Jim, I'll punch him if you want. Okay, right, there we go. Effectively when they're wearing a helmet. I've done enough. The rest is on you boys. It doesn't... Man. This is what happens when you tell lies. Any question you are asked, you will now tell the truth. You understand me? I have been. You have been telling the truth? Should I just rewind ourselves back to our first meeting? You don't get to win any honesty awards here, you stupid fuck. Frankie, take over, please. Already with my friend. Uh, not feeling too good. Too bad. Deal with it. Why did you do it, man? Oh, let me guess. He was just protecting himself, right? This must be like that time Hitler protected himself from all those terrible Polish bastards. Was it for? Why did I do it? Why did you join up with them? Everything. You clearly had opportunity because you were alone in the house with Megan. Uh, what did he tell you that wanna, made you sway so easy? Might want to hurry this up, you never know, there might be, uh, his they boys might be into what. Companionship. They fooled me into thinking I was a good friend of theirs. So you killed yeah. one of the good guys. That's a good fucking way of remaining on the side of fucking because right the good or wrong. Guy put a bullet through somebody in my. Somebody was standing in front of me, and the good guy put a bullet through his head. I thought I was going to be next. You think that's justified? You right. should have ran. Oh yeah, I definitely did run. And, and then I hid behind a tree, turned around, and put a bullet through your guy's head. How does it feel? That moment when you say something. Absolutely retarded. You go deadly silent and you realize, yeah, I'm fucked now. <sighs> How does it feel? You are really let's picking not, your uh, choice let's of words. Not brag about that right now. Tell you how it feels. There we go. Night, Great night, Jamie. sunshine. Now, whilst the boys make a free for all out of this genius's corpse, some of us head back. Our day's at an end. Artyom is avenged. This day wasn't a fuck up at all. I was worried we were going to come back to some fucked up shit. Instead, karma worked in our favor for once. Another asshole bites the dust. God damn. Nothing better than a good old day. On a guys, guys, where is Frank? Where is Frank? Frank, give me a sec. Friend committed suicide. Frank, what? Frank, Frank's friend committed suicide. Uh, he, he fell. Who? He fell. He fell. He didn't commit suicide. He 
No, no. There was a guy up there, he just shot him. No. Who? What? Where, 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 where? So, he left a note for Frank. Thank you. What? Where is it? Where the no. fuck is the body? Where's the note? Did you grab the note there. at least? Where's Frank? Yes, we have right the here. Well, give me the whoa, 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 Frank, you're give me the note, your friend. Yes, yes, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have the note. God fucking damn it. Frank. The guy who killed himself was Jimmy. One of Frank's friends. I don't even know what to say right here. Can't get worse than this, right?